Over the past 500 years, a haunting stretch of the Atlantic Ocean has claimed over 8,000 lives and countless ships and planes, all without a clear explanation. What's truly perplexing is the scarcity of remains ever found. This enigmatic region wasn't officially recognized until 1964, when journalist Vincent Gaddis documented its eerie phenomena in an article coining the name Bermuda Triangle. Stretching from the Bermuda Islands to Florida to Puerto Rico, this vast expanse, equivalent to the size of Peru at 500,000 square miles, holds secrets as deep as the ocean floor. The Bermuda Triangle is a widely recognized name that is often associated with mystery and calamity. With numerous victims claimed over time, the Bermuda Triangle has gained worldwide infamy and legendary status. Flight 19 stands out as one of the most renowned disappearances within the Bermuda Triangle. On the fateful Wednesday of December 5, 1945, Naval Air Station Fort Lauderdale in Florida bustled with routine training flights just like any other day. However, as Flight 18 took off just before, effortlessly completing its journey and returning safely, Flight 19 vanished into thin air, leaving behind unanswered questions and a trail of confusion. Convinced that Flight 19 had gone down at sea, the Navy swiftly initiated a search and rescue mission. Two Mariner flying boats were dispatched to scour the vast expanse in search of the missing aircraft. However, within a mere 20 minutes of takeoff, one of the Mariners vanished from radar, adding another layer of perplexity to the unfolding mystery. Neither the 13 crewmen nor the five pilots of Flight 19 or any wreckage from the aircraft were ever found. Another intriguing example of incidents within the Bermuda Triangle is the disappearance of USS Cyclops, a colossal vessel stretching nearly 550 feet in length which housed a crew of 306 souls and carried a hefty cargo of around 11,000 tons of manganese. Since her maiden voyage in 1910, she traveled the seas, weaving through the Baltic, Caribbean, and Mexican waters, fulfilling various roles from transporting coal to aiding refugees. Yet, as the nine-day odyssey unfolded, something went terribly wrong and not a soul from the vessel was ever sighted or heard from again, leaving behind a void of silence, no distress signal, no trace whatsoever. Furthermore, within the over 100 incidents documented in the Triangle, another event that particularly intrigues is the tale of Ellen Austin. In 1881, the Ellen Austin, a 210-foot ship, encountered a mysterious vessel in the Bermuda Triangle. Despite all efforts to establish communication, the vessel remained eerily silent. Upon boarding, it was found deserted, yet fully provisioned. A hired crew was sent to tow it away, but they were abruptly separated by a sudden storm, leaving Captain Bake searching fruitlessly. Astonishingly, the vessel reappeared, but subsequent salvage crews disappeared without a trace, adding to the mysterious lore of the Bermuda Triangle. Numerous strange occurrences like these have occurred within the Bermuda Triangle, leaving experts puzzled. People have come up with different theories to explain these mysterious events. Some of these ideas are just as mystifying as the Triangle itself. One such example is the urban legend dating back to 1701, which tells of a pirate ship that ventured into the Bermuda Triangle. Suddenly, a massive squid, known as Gargantos, appeared, a creature once thought mythical. Since then, tales tell of the ship's ghost, haunting the Triangle's waters continue. According to the legend, those who dared to board or navigate through the same route were rumored to fall prey to a monstrous entity. Another well-known hypothesis revolves around the notion that the lost city of Atlantis could be connected to the shipwrecks and aircraft disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. Some proponents of this theory propose that advanced Atlantean technology such as crystal energies, might still be operational on the ocean floor, leading to mechanical malfunctions in vessels and aircraft above. However, despite the grandeur of these ideas, the actual existence of Atlantis remains uncertain. It's hardly surprising that in realms such as the Bermuda Triangle rich with conspiracy theories, UFOs frequently feature prominently. Hence, it's not uncommon for many to speculate that aliens use the Bermuda Triangle as a portal to Earth. 
They allegedly conduct abductions of both individuals and technology to further their research on our species. However, let's now shift our focus to the more scientifically grounded explanations for the enigmatic disappearances within the Bermuda Triangle. One of the most noteworthy theories revolves around an experience had by the renowned explorer Christopher Columbus in the waters of the Bermuda Triangle. In 1492, Christopher Columbus sailed through the Bermuda Triangle, where he encountered an unexpected problem. His ship, the Santa Maria, along with its sister ships, became entangled in dense algae, which Columbus referred to as weeds in his diary. For three days, the crew struggled, fearing they might run aground or be dragged to the ocean floor by the seaweed. Eventually, they managed to cut their way free, but the experience left them convinced of the area's danger due to the unusually dense seaweed. Scientists later identified the dense seaweed was sargassum, derived from the Spanish word sargazo, meaning seaweed. This discovery led to the area being named the Sargasso Sea. Stretching approximately 700 miles wide and 2,000 miles long, the Sargasso Sea encompasses about two-thirds of the Bermuda Triangle. The Sargasso Sea is notorious for its thick mats of sargassum. If a ship gets caught in these dense patches, the seaweed can wrap around the rudder, rendering it impossible to steer, while barnacles slow the ship's progress. But the trouble doesn't end there. As the sargassum decays, it emits hydrogen sulfide gas, which has a pungent odor resembling rotten eggs and can be toxic if inhaled. Exposure to this gas can cause irritation to the eyes, nose, and throat, and prolonged inhalation may lead to psychological issues, even insanity. While getting tangled in seaweed could explain some disappearances or shipwrecks in the Bermuda Triangle, the psychological effects of hydrogen sulfide gas exposure might contribute to the more fantastical stories surrounding the area. However, this explanation doesn't unravel all the mysteries surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. For example, we have the Dropner Wave incident off the coast of the North Sea. About 100 miles off the coast of Norway lies the Dropner, an oil drilling platform equipped with instruments to monitor waves. On January 1, 1995, a laser range finder detected a wave heading for the Dropner. The Dropner wave, towering at 85 feet, defies conventional wave models. Rogue waves like it, distinct from regular waves, are over twice the size, unpredictable, and can emerge unexpectedly. Their massive size and force, up to 16 times greater than regular waves, intrigue scientists. Constructive interference, where waves accumulate due to varying speeds, is speculated as a potential cause. Could potential rogue waves be the cause of many mysteries in the Bermuda Triangle? Amidst the multitude of these mysteries, a recent theory emerges as particularly noteworthy. In 2019, a startling theory emerged from a scientist's experience in the Bermuda area. Bermuda, like Hawaii, is a volcanic island, but it has a unique geological feature. The deeper origin means Bermuda's volcanic rock has a heavy concentration of magnetite, a highly magnetic mineral. Essentially, Bermuda acts like a giant magnet. This abundance of magnetite in Bermuda's rock could be causing ships and airplanes to go missing in the triangle. With 500 billion tons of magnetite in the Bermuda Triangle, the magnetic influence could be substantial. Passing a compass over Bermuda's magnetite-rich limestone can throw it off by several degrees, leading ships to veer off course and potentially crash into rocks. Planes could also be affected, with compasses and altimeters experiencing errors due to the magnetic field. Pilots could become disoriented, leading to potentially fatal mistakes. A remarkably similar explanation had surfaced two years earlier, inspired by an experience recounted by Bruce Gernon. In 2017, Bruce Gernon published a book titled Beyond the Bermuda Triangle, where he shared pilot stories about encountering an electronic fog. Before the widespread use of GPS navigation, the compass was crucial for accurate navigation, always pointing towards magnetic north. However, strong magnets could instantly disrupt its accuracy. According to Gernon, electronic fog is a grayish cloud of electromagnetic fields that can form suddenly above the ocean, enveloping an aircraft. Gernon himself experienced this phenomenon while flying through the Bermuda Triangle his plane became surrounded by a strange fog that seemed to cling to it.
causing a sensation of zero gravity and propelling the aircraft forward. When Gernon exited the triangle, the fog dissipated. Gernon suggests that the natural magnetism in the Bermuda Triangle may give the fog droplets an electromagnetic charge. If true, these droplets could be attracted to anything they encounter, dense enough to carry a vessel along with them potentially. When people discuss the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle, they often focus on a single cause. However, considering the numerous disappearances spanning over 500 years, there's no reason to limit ourselves to just one explanation. It's likely a combination of deadly factors at play here. Perhaps one day we'll gather substantial evidence to better understand the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle. It's important not to confine our thoughts to narrow possibilities. The potential for explanations is vast, which adds to the fascination of the Bermuda Triangle. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more captivating content. If you like this video, you'll definitely enjoy the one displayed on your screen right now. Click to join me for another thrilling experience.